Cardiovascular diseases, including heart disease and stroke, are among the leading causes of death among Canadians, and therefore it's important for us to track risk factors over time. So when I say risk factors, I mean, I mean things like obesity, hypertension, smoking, and diabetes that increases your risk for getting or developing heart disease. So uh, trends over time in the overall Ontario population has been studied. However, what we didn't know was whether these trends could be generalizable to ethnic-specific groups in Ontario, in particular the four largest ethnic groups, the white, South Asian, Chinese, and black populations. So we used data from Statistics Canada's Canadian Community Health Surveys between 2001 and 2012, and we tracked how these risk factors changed over time in each of the ethnic groups. What we found was that there were striking differences in terms of ethnic specific trends uh, over time. I'll give you some examples. So prevalence of diabetes, for example, increased twofold among black women and more than doubled among South Asian men from 7% to 15% over an 11 year span. So that's quite significant. We also found that obesity rates um, increased across the board, across all ethnic groups for males and females. However, the largest relative increase was found among Chinese men. And this is significant and very concerning given that previous literature, including work that was done here at ISIS by our group, found that Asians and uh, Chinese in specific actually have, um, are more sensitive to weight gain in terms of their cardiovascular risk, diabetes risk, and other chronic diseases. So what we learned from this study was that the burden of cardiovascular disease is not equally distributed across the ethnic groups. We cannot take the general trends and apply it to various ethnic groups because they're masking the high-risk populations that we identified in this study. And what this also means is that we really need to develop some ethnic ta ethically tailored, ethnic specific prevention strategies that will target these high risk populations so that we can reduce the overall burden of cardiovascular disease across all of Ontario.